Have you ever visited a website and been instantly drawn to its elegant design and readability? Or perhaps you have felt the frustration of a site that loads too slowly, making you want to leave before you have even started? What if I told you that something as simple as the font can make or break your web project's look? Your web project's look, feel and performance? Yes, the secret sauce to elevating your web presence might just be in your font choice. Stay tuned to unlock this powerful tool. Hello and welcome to our deep dive into the font world of the fonts in Next.js. I am a Yazafar, a seasoned web developer with years of experience crafting, engaging and high performance web applications using Next.js. Today, I am here to guide you through the interface of font optimization in Next.js. From leveraging Google Fonts and incorporating local fonts to seamlessly integrating with Tailwind CSS for that extra flair, we have got a lot to cover. We will also touch on some best practices to ensure your site not only looks great but loads quickly, providing an optimal user experience. Whether you are looking to refresh your current project or starting from scratch, mastering these font techniques will give you the edge you need. So let's get started. Let's start by addressing a crucial question. Why do fonts matter so much in web development? The right font does more than just display text. It sets the tone of your website, affects readability and significantly impacts the user experience or UX. But it is not about aesthetics. Fonts can also affect your site's performance. How quickly a font loads can influence your page's load time, a key factor in SEO rankings and user retention. Consider a case study from a major e-commerce platform. By optimizing their font delivery, they reduced page load time by 30% leading to a noticeable increase in customer engagement and sales. We are going to dive into how Next.js simplifies the process of using Google Fonts in your project. Now we are going to dive into how Next.js simplifies the process of using Google Fonts in your projects. With the introduction of the Next slash font module, Next.js offers a streamlined way to incorporate Google Fonts, enhancing both performance and ease of use. The Next slash font slash Google module is part of Next.js built-in font optimization feature it allows you to easily import fonts from google fonts with minimal code automatically optimizing the font loading process this means faster page loads and a smoother user experience let's go through the steps to implement google fonts in your next.js project first you will need to import the font from next slash font slash google so this is how you would do it so this is my next.js project and in the page.ts uh, let me remove all of this generated content and here i will add a simple div with the text hello world now you can see that this text is visible further in the layout uh, it was already included so i can just get rid of that so that we could try it from scratch so let me remove this class name from here as well okay now here let's import enter from next slash font slash google okay so after importing we will create a css variable to use the font throughout our application so this is done by defining the font and assigning it to a variable so for example here i will create const my font is equal to enter okay and then i will pass it an object and here i will add subsets latin and here i will add the variable dash dash my font family uh okay so make sure to use the capital i so here instead of passing a string you have to pass an array to get rid of this error this approach not only simplifies font management but also leverages the power of CSS variables for dynamic styling. Now let's see this in action. I will demonstrate how to apply this font to your HTML elements. So you would typically add this to your global CSS file. So here let me get rid of all of this generated code and here I will add HTML and here I will add font family 
and add var and here i will specify my font family and here i will add comma sense sorry save it okay you can see as soon as i have added that the font family has been changed but if i comment it out then you will see that it is showing in different way so by setting the font in the html element we ensure that this font is applied globally across our website so if you want to apply it globally it's better to move keep this part in the layout.ts so that be in that way that it would be available globally without any problem okay now let me try to use a different font so instead of enter let's search for other available fonts so let's say you want to use this one okay so we will call that in the same way and now there are different kind of options so let's say so if you press control space you will see different options so among these this is the only one that is required so let's add it and now save it okay now it is saying that preload is enabled but no subsets were specified for the font alex brush so please specify subsets or disable preloading if your intended subset can't be preloaded okay so available subsets are these so let's use this one again and make sure to keep it in array like before save it okay and again we will add the same variable my dash font dash family save it i have commented that out so let me uncomment it and save it another very important thing is that you have to use this my font and after body you have to add a class and use the curly braces class name save it okay now you can see this time the font was applied earlier it was not being applied at all so every time you create a new font you have to add the class name in this way moving on let's talk about local fonts and why they might be preferable option for your next js project unlike web fonts that need to be downloaded from a server each time your site is accessed local fonts are stored directly within your project this can lead to significant improvements in load times and performance as well as give you more control over font rendering and availability using local fonts eliminates reliance on external font hosting services reducing potential points of failure and speeding up the font loading process this can be particularly beneficial for projects that prioritize speed and reliability additionally storing fonts locally allows for better customization and optimization ensuring that your fonts are perfectly tailored to your site's needs first thing first you will need to add your fonts files to your next js project a common practice is to place them inside the public slash fonts directory this makes them accessible to your application while keeping your project organized so let's say you have a font named my custom font dot w o double f 2 you would add it to your project like this next we will import and use these local fonts in your next js project so thanks to the next slash font slash local module this process is straightforward so this is how you would do it so let's open our layout.ts and here instead of using slash google i will use slash local and here use this local font okay now we can use it here in this way we will remove all of these options for now and we will add an object and i will add src and here i will specify the path of my font so let's say i will add my dash font dot w o f f 2 okay and rest of the things would stay same my font dot class names would be added in the body or html and if you want to use multiple files for a single font family so source can be an array instead of single string so let's say you want to use this and here you will add an object path and here we will add let's say roboto regular and weight would be maybe 400 and style would be normal and in this way you will have another one roboto bold and then okay so in this way we have added multiple fonts and after the source tag we will add the variable and here you can give any name like this okay so this code tells nextjs to use the font located in your public slash fonts directory and assigns is to 
and assigns it to a CSS variable for easy application. Now let's put all this together. After defining your local font, you apply it similarly to how we did with Google fonts in your global CSS file. So you might add in global CSS, remove this and add this new name. So by doing so, your custom font will be applied globally across your site, enhancing its aesthetic and performance. Right now it will not work. The reason is that we did not add any font yet in the fonts folder. So to ensure you have got a clear understanding, I'm going to walk you through a live demonstration of adding local font to Next.js project from placing the font file in the right directory to, imp to importing it with next slash font local and applying it using CSS variable. So this hands-on example will equip you with everything you need to start using local fonts in your own projects. So let's open Google fonts website and I will download a font from there. So let's say I want to use this font. Okay. For that, I will click on the get font and click on the actually let me remove this font and click on download all. And it has given me a folder with a zip file. So I will open the zip folder. And within that zip folder, we have our TTF file. So let me copy it and open the VS code. And in the public, let's create a folder fonts. And within that, I will paste actually i cannot paste it so i have to drag and drop in this way okay now let's copy it uh, i have copied the path and go to the layout and this time i will get rid of all of these multiple paths because right now we have only one file so i will just add one single string like that dot ttf and here i will i will add dot slash okay and the name would be font micro 5 okay so let's save it and let's reload the browser and see if error has gone or not okay it is saying that cannot resolve this so actually this is how i made it worked so i added the relative path to the public folder in this way and now it was able to find the path and you can see now the font has been applied now you can increase the font size just to show you let me add font size under pixels save it and you can see that the font size has been increased as we continue let's explore the powerful synergy between tailwind css and custom fonts in your next year's project tailwind css a utility for csf framework simplifies the process of styling applications when it comes to fonts tailwind allows for easy customization and application making it an excellent choice for developers looking to implement custom fonts with minimal fuss Integrating custom fonts with Tailwind CSS begins with your tailwind.config.js file. So here you can extend your Tailwind's default configuration to include your custom fonts. So this approach ensures that you can use your fonts throughout your project as easily as you use Tailwind's other utility classes. So let's dive into how you can add your custom font to your Tailwind configuration. Assuming you have already imported your font into your project either from Google fonts or as a local font. The next step is to extend Tailwind's default settings. So, so here I will demonstrate how to do that. Open the config file and actually it is the tailwind.config.ts. In the extend section, I will add font family section. And within that, I will add custom. And here I will add a variable in this way and i will pass a second parameter in this array so now let's add it here okay great so in this code the custom is the name of uh, is the name you will use within tailwind utility classes to apply your font and var font micro 5 is the css variable we defined earlier whether it came from the google fonts or local source now that we have configured the Tailwind to recognize our custom font, applying it within our project is straightforward. Thanks to Tailwind's utility classes, you can now use your custom font as easily as any other style. Applying fonts in project using Tailwind utility classes is very simple. So this is how you can apply your custom font to elements in your project. For that, open the page.ts and let's say here I will just remove this font so that the font family don't apply on it uh, if you remove this class from this then the font would be removed but now i will add class so now here i will add dot variable in this place and after that 
let's add our font custom save it and with that it will start working so it does not matter if you want to add it here you can add, add it anywhere so just remember that you have to add this class here in the root level and then on the page here you will add class custom actually it would be font custom save it okay so in this way in your child component you can use this custom font anywhere but the condition is that in the parent you have must have to add the uh, this class okay let's dive into some best practices and tips for optimizing font performance in your next year's projects ensuring your site is as efficient and user friendly as possible variable fonts are game changer in web design allowing a single font file to act as multiple fonts through the use of adjustable parameters this can be drastically reduce the numbers of font files you need to load improving your site's performance so subsetting on other hand involves including only the specific characters or glyphs you need from a font further reducing file sizes and load times the benefits are using variable fonts and subsetting can significantly speed up your website enhance user experience and even reduce your site's carbon footprint by minimizing the data transfer next is preloading fonts so preloading fonts is a crucial strategy to ensure that they are available as soon as they are needed improving the perceived performance of your website this is especially important for the above the fold content which impacts your site's first impression use the preload attribute in your link tag for crucial fonts or the preload option in the next slash font module this tells the browser to prioritize the loading these fonts early in the page load process reducing the layout shifts and improving user experience so let's say here in the layout you can add preload property to true and then this will happen there are some advanced tips as well consider implementing dynamic font loading based on user preferences or system settings for example you could load different fonts for dark mode versus light mode or use media queries to load higher quality fonts for user with high resolution displays there are some common pitfalls and troubleshooting things that you need to consider even with the best practices in place you might encounter some issues common problems include fonts not loading correctly excessive load times or layout shifts the solution is to ensure you are using correct font formats and paths leverage caching strategies and use font display options like swap or fallback to control text visibility during the font loading <laughs> Tools like Google's Web Font Loader can also help manage font loading more efficiently. As we wrap up, remember that the choice and management of fonts in your next year's project can significantly impact both aesthetics and performance. So we have covered how to use Google Fonts and local fonts, integrate with Tailwind CSS and optimize font performance through best practices like variable fonts, subsetting and preloading. The practical value of these optimization can be overstated so by applying these techniques you can create faster more beautiful and user-friendly websites i encourage you to apply what you have learned today in your own projects so experiment with different fonts and optimization techniques to see what works best for you if you have found this tutorial helpful please subscribe to our channel leave a comment with your thoughts or questions and share this video with others your support helps us create more content like this Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials and tips to elevate your web development skills. So don't forget to, to engage with our end screen elements for further learning opportunities. So subscribe for upcoming content and explore our channel for more resources. Until next time, happy coding.